read with Esme. Hi everybody, I'm Esme and today we're going to be reading another fabulous book called Phasmid, Saving the Lord Howe Island Stick Insect, written by Rowan Cleave and Coral Tulloch. Let's get into it. Welcome to my home, Lord Howe Island. My beautiful island is an extinct volcano that formed about 7 million years ago. It is located in the Tasman Sea, 600 kilometers east of the Australian mainland. Lord Howe Island is also known as the last paradise. The world has recognized the island's beauty and biodiversity and has promised to protect it for future generations. Ball's Pyramid is a smaller island that lies 23 kilometers southeast of Lord Howe Island. It is the tallest volcanic, volcanic stack in the world, rising 551 meters above sea level. My life begins inside a small egg. It is a funny looking egg with a round cap at one end, but this is no ordinary little egg. My mother can bury my egg underground. She carefully covers my egg with dirt to keep me as safe and warm. I am not the only egg my mother will lay. She can lay up to 300 eggs in her lifetime. I grow inside my little egg for at least six months and I may keep growing up for up to nine months. I grow until I am three times longer than my egg. My egg is about six millimeters long, but when I am ready to hatch, my body is about two centimeters long. How do I fit inside my tiny egg? I am very soft and carefully folded up like a paper clip. There is no more room left inside my egg now. Early one morning, the cap on my egg pops open. It's time to break free, but it is a hard struggle. I use my head to help push the cap open so I can escape. I push up and up through the dirt until at last I see the morning sky. It is very tiring for me to get out of my egg and I have to rest often. I use my legs and abdomen to pull and pry my way out. I am bright green and I have six legs. I have two very long antenna on my head. I climb the nearest bush as fast as I can. It is hard to see me resting here. Camouflage is my best chance of, for survival in the wild. I must hide from predators like birds. They see me as their next meal. I should be safe hiding among the green leaves. Over many months, I begin to change how I look and behave. I do not have a backbone, but I have an exoskeleton on the outside of my body. I must molt so my old exoskeleton and grow a new one up to nine times before I become an adult. When I am young, I am green and I rest in the sunlight during the day. As I grow, my color changes to mottled green and brown, then brown, then finally to black. I now like to hide during the day and am fully nocturnal. I huddle tightly with other animals like me, in a big ball inside the dark log hollows. I reach adulthood when I am about six months old. It's only safe to venture out at night to feed and explore. I must be careful of predators like owls, who would like to eat me. I climb the branches and feed on my favorite melaleuca and banyan leaves. One night, I climb down to the ground and catch my reflection in a puddle of water. I am a Lord Howe Island phasmid. We were once found all over the lowland areas of Lord Howe Island, but now not many of us are left alive. Until very recently, people thought we were extinct, lost forever. One accident changed our way of life. Nearly 100 years ago, a ship ran aground on jagged coral reef around the island. The black rats on board the ship escaped. With empty stomachs, the hungry rats ate all the phasmids on Lower Howe Island in a very short time. Luckily, 
Some of us found our way to Ball's Pyramid, a huge rock surrounded by pounding ocean waves. No one really knows how we got there. What we Were we carried there by local fishermen or seabirds? Did we drift across the ocean? Or maybe some of our ancestors had arrived a long time ago. Ball's Pyramid is a harsh and dangerous place, but it was our only home for a very long time. Clinging to the steep side of a cliff face, somehow we survived. Over many years, we became lost and forgotten to the rest of the world. Then, one day, some scientists set off on an adventure to find us. One dark night, they climbed dangerously high to examine a bush. Suddenly, we appeared in the beam of their torchlight under the beautiful, star-filled night sky. The scientists knew that we needed help. Years later, they gently collected some of us to make sure that we were protected. We were beginning an exciting adventure to help save our species. We were on the very edge of extinction, about to vanish forever. But how could humans save our species when no one knew about us? A handful of dedicated people cared for us. They found out what we ate and how we lived. We began to breed. After many months, the first phasmid to be born in captivity, captivity eventually hatched from its egg. Many secrets about our lives still remain to be discovered. We are one of the rarest invertebrates in the world today. Less than 30 of us live in the wild on Ball's Pyramid. One day, we hope to return to Lord Howe Island, our beautiful home. We have survived because a few devoted people cared enough to want to save us. They wanted to help rescue one of the world's most critically endangered species. And all it took, all it took was for one little egg to hatch. These pages tell the true story of the phasmid. If you want to learn more about the phasmid, watch this beautiful short film by Jilly Rose called Sticky. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the book and the movie if you watched it. See you next time. Bye. On, a, on a an adventure. <laughs> so fun is on an adventure. I'm called Sticky. To tell. <laughs> Bad <Bad-red. laughs> What the heck?